Imagine turning Earth's fiercest natural incinerators into our garbage disposals. That sounds like a blazing idea, right? Or could it be a recipe for an explosive disaster? Hold on to your seats as we dive headfirst into a sea of molten rock tackling the burning question, what if we dumped our trash into active volcanoes? Let's ignite this thrilling journey together. Shield volcanoes, so named for their broad, shield-like profiles, are characterized by their slow, effusive eruptions and, crucially, their lava lakes. These fiery pools might seem like perfect natural incinerators offering a seemingly endless source of heat to devour our rubbish. Yet, these lava lakes are fewer in number and often Often located in even more inaccessible places. Their slow eruptions may be less explosive, but that doesn't mean they're safe. A sudden increase in the volume of waste could trigger unforeseen consequences. Consider the chemistry. Adding trash to a volcano is not simply out of sight, out of mind. Waste, especially plastic, produces a cocktail of toxic gases when burned. And let's not forget the explosive reaction that could occur when the water content in the waste comes into contact with scorching magma. Such violent, phreto-magmatic explosions could not only endanger any nearby waste disposal personnel, but also eject partially incinerated waste back into the environment, defeating the entire purpose of the exercise. Rather than looking for extreme and potential damaging solutions, we should focus on more sustainable practices, reducing consumption, recycling, and waste to energy solutions. Our relationship with volcanoes should be be awe and respect, not exploitation. Suppose you've located one of these elusive shield volcanoes, sitting there with its slow, oozing lava, seemingly inviting you to throw in your refuse. Before you hire an army of waste collectors and invest in an entire fleet of trucks, it's time to evaluate the merits of this endeavor. Contrast this idyllic scene with the far more prevalent stratovolcanoes, the unpredictable, fiery-tempered counterparts of the shield variety. But let's return to our shield volcano. Seeming so calm and inviting, you've managed to recruit brave waste collectors willing to venture to the vent of this volcano. As they navigate the treacherous journey up the steep, rough terrain, dodging blistering hot lava flows, the reality of their job might begin to sink in. Driving a truck laden with tons of trash to the edge of a bubbling lava lake is not a typical day at the office. Even as they look out over the mesmerizing sight of the molten magma, the inherent danger of their position becomes starkly clear. Here they stand, teetering on the brink of an abyss filled with molten rock in a profession that's suddenly gone from mundane to daredevil. This scenario also disregards the terrifying unpredictability of volcanoes. Despite the relative calm of a shield volcano, compared to its stratovolcano cousins, it's still a cauldron of superheated earth with the capacity for powerful reactions. What would happen when the first load of trash hits the lava? The scenario raises more questions than answers. Using a volcano as a garbage disposal unit seems to lean more towards science fiction than practical solutions. A a stark illustration of this came in 2002, when Ethiopian researchers embarked on a daring experiment. They flung a bag of trash weighing 30 kilograms, around 66 pounds, into the fiery pit of a volcano. Instead of a silent disappearance beneath the incandescent waves of molten rock, the result was explosive. Why did this occur? Well, the answer lies in the fragile stability of lava lakes. Despite their intimidating, tumultuous appearance, they maintain a delicate balance. The cooler temperature of the trash causes the lava to solidify rapidly around it, trapping gases beneath this newly formed cap of cooled magma. The entrapped gases, now under increasing pressure, attempt to escape. In doing so, they rupture the cap, leading to a chain of small but violent explosions. But that was just a single bag of trash. Picture, if you will, an entire nation's waste being dumped into the belly of the beast. A steady stream of garbage trucks depositing low load after load of waste, each new addition potentially a catalyst for a fresh explosion. The scale of the reaction
reaction would be exponential, sending shards of solidified lava, unburnt trash and toxic gases into the air. Not only would we be endangering the lives of those tasked with this difficult job, but we'd also be creating an environmental hazard of epic proportions. The poisonous plumes would drift with the wind, raining down harmful particulate on distant lands, possibly even reaching populated areas. Additionally, the volcano's unburnt or partially burnt trash ejected could contaminate the surrounding land and water bodies. The cascading impacts of this idea don't stop at explosive displays of molten fury. The implications of such an approach extend beyond the immediate dangers of working in such an environment. Consider the inevitable air pollution from burning our waste without filtration. When waste burns, it releases a range of harmful gases and particulates. Now, factor in the environmental cost of transporting the waste to the volcanoes. The carbon footprint of such an operation would be immense, likely negating any potential benefits derived from removing the waste. The irony is hard to ignore. While attempting to solve one environmental problem, we could be exacerbating another. Considering all these factors, using volcanoes as a waste disposal solution rapidly loses appeal. It becomes clear that far from being a simple and elegant solution, it's a complex and potentially catastrophic idea. If incineration is part of the solution, why not do it in a controlled environment? Modern waste-to-energy plants are designed to burn waste efficiently and safely, with stringent controls to limit emissions. They also harness the heat produced during incineration to generate electricity, creating a renewable energy source from waste. The idea of shooting our waste into space has been suggested as an alternative, and while it's an intriguing concept, it's not without its own set of challenges and concerns. For now, perhaps our focus should be on reducing the amount of waste we produce and increasing our recycling efforts while exploring cleaner and more sustainable waste disposal methods. It's a less dramatic approach granted, but one that stands a better chance of preserving our planet for future generations. As we've seen, turning active volcanoes into our trash incinerators might not be the smartest move. But what if we decide to press on despite the dangers, to let the molten heat of the earth consume our waste? What unimaginable consequences could we be unknowingly unleashing? Well, delve deeper into that fiery scenario in our next episode. If you found this journey to the edge of the volcano intriguing, make sure to give us a like, share this video with your friends, and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out what happens next in this volcanic saga.